Tyra's life was basketball. That was definitely his dream. All he dreamed of was winning and becoming the next Kobe Bryant. I was just getting offer after offer and I couldn't wait to start college. When Ira got to college, everything got derailed. Because he's a drug addict, all of his dreams just went away. I don't consider myself a drug addict because I don't think I fit the, the, the stereotype of a drug addict. I'm not like tweaking out. I don't snort things out my nose. I don't use needles. In the beginning, I really started to do the coke was because I seen the girls doing it, snorting lines off each other. And then I'm like, yo, I want to partake in this. Everything went downhill from there. Ira started stealing money from close friends and he got two DUIs. The first one, I was under the influence of alcohol and coke. So my second DUI, I was driving my BMW. I literally thought somebody was in my trunk. I was so paranoid that I ended up <laughs> calling the police on myself. I got arrested. He attempted to fill illegal prescriptions at the drug pharmacy. I just needed some money because my parents cut me off. I started using fentanyl to balance out my coke high, but about a gram, maybe a gram and a half a day of fentanyl and smoke it. I normally get my fentanyl from like Orange County but you can get it anywhere. I'm in LA, so if I walk a couple streets, I'll find it. There was a few times where I would buy fentanyl and then I'd try to sell it so I can make a little profit. But then random people start knocking on the door and I got scared. Since being homeless in California, I've seen so much. Last week at a motel, I was in a room and somebody overdosed and died. He was like taking his last breath. That was hard. When I look at where he is now versus where he was, it, it drives me insane. I do drugs because I don't have anything to do. I don't have any priorities, so I feel like, you know, might as well just indulge and, you know, that's pretty much why I just continue to get high. Okay, Ira is here joining us, and his mother, uh, Shantae, is joining us virtually. I, I was curious about something you, you said in your tape piece. You said you don't consider yourself a drug addict. No. Are, are you serious about that, or is that something you just say around people? I consider myself, people? I consider myself having an identity crisis, and I don't know who I am, so I choose drugs because I've, cho I've chosen drugs because it's really hard to accept the things that I've done, accept where I came from and where, I'm at, where, where I am now. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to let go of the past, and I'm homeless, but I don't have anywhere to go. With, with this COVID, it's like it's hard to really get a good job, you know, and it just kind of just, it kind of just makes the time go by. It kind of just makes me just, like I don't do drugs every day. I've never, there's a lot of drugs that I haven't done. And I feel like a real drug addict, drug addicts that I've met, they don't care what type of drug it is, they're willing to do it. I've never smoked crack in my life. I've never used any needles in my life. I've never done meth. There's, a, there's a, so many drugs that I, that I haven't done, but I, but I have indulged and you know, quite a few drugs, alcohol and coke really preferred. And then with the fentanyl when I, when I moved to Orange County, but I don't, I don't consider myself a, I mean, I can stop if I, if I, I can stop if I had like something to look forward to, sir, to be honest with you. Yeah. I really feel like I can. Well, you were, you were in college and you were one semester short of being eligible to transfer to the division one school that you had been training with, right? Yes, But sir. drugs took over. Well, my grades took over. My grades wasn't wasn't up to par, so. And drugs didn't have anything to do with your grades being up to par, not being up to par. No, not at all. Once okay. I once I realized that my grades were okay. were bad when it kicked when it kicked me off the team and I I couldn't play basketball anymore. That's when I started to use drugs. Okay, and you do fentanyl every day. To keep from being sick, yes. And you, if you go 24 hours, you go into withdrawal. Yep. So you do it to keep from being sick. Yes, sir. But you don't consider yourself an addict. I consider myself having to do something so I can feel better. Because like once you start to take the drug, it's not a high. It just makes you feel better. It's calling get, getting well. But it's, it's not like you're high. You don't you, you don't feel high. You just feel better. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.